Younger patients are a challenge in CLL because they have a long time horizon. And so we need to think about therapies that can last them not just a few years like an older patient, but potentially decades. And so the idea of putting a patient like that on a single agent, novel agent, I think is challenging because you're imagining perhaps 30 or 40 years of that agent. And that certainly would be a recipe for inducing resistance mutations and toxicities. So I think for the younger fit patients, combination approaches are going to be the key. And that allows for achieving MRD negativity, which will allow for time-limited therapy. And so I think there's a number of different ways that we can get there. As I mentioned with the DFCR study, one way would be to try to add novel agents to chemotherapy. But I think another very promising approach is to use novel agents only and try to avoid the chemotherapy and some of the risks inherent in that. Uh, and that can include a combination of a novel agent with a CD20 antibody or a combination of novel agents without antibody, or all three drugs together. And so fortunately, we have trials now going on around the world that are looking at all these different combinations. And I think the next few years are going to be a very exciting time for CLL research as we start to see these data mature. And eventually, we'll figure out what's the optimal regimen for our young fit patients.